Hey everyone, uh, welcome to lecture number three. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about novices stages uh, and uh, your weekly assignments. Uh, so this week I'm asking you to read Novice Chapter 1. You may have read it last week uh, if you saw it before I took it off the reading list. Uh, if you did read it last week, that's alright. Just go back and review it. Uh, you're going to do your post this week on a recycling figure, and I'll, I'll explain what that means later. Uh, and then uh, your typical discussion. There is, again, a prompt for everything this week in the Week 3 folder. Uh, one thing uh, I want to make sure uh, I talk about, uh, I'm going to be changing some of the assignment structures to give you all a little bit more time to uh, process uh, the week's text. So uh, the post uh, that you do each week is now going to be due on Friday instead of Wednesday. Uh, so from now on, all of the posts, uh, your weekly posts are going to be due on Friday by 10 p.m., uh, and then your contribution to discussion is going to be tabulated on Sundays at 10 p.m. instead. So the discussion used to be tabulated on Friday, now it's going to be tabulated on Sunday. Again, I'm pushing these dates back to try to give you all a little bit more time to process the reading, uh, make sure you get through everything uh, before you have to get something up about it. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to you all. Uh, it does mean that you're going to be doing your uh, projects while you're commenting, but you know, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so in chapter one, uh, novice is going to develop uh, two sets of stages that are sort of overlapping and feed on in one another. Uh, the first uh, are the sets, uh, the stages of mechanical reproduction, are also the stages of uh, sampling. So he, he, he puts a slash in between them, so it's, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, so it's going to start in uh, 1830s with development of uh, early photography, development of early film and cinema technologies. Uh, and so we talked about this a little bit more, uh, a little bit uh, last week, uh, at least conceptually or theoretically. Uh, Walter Benjamin was dealing with this in, as a new development, right? The, the work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction, and then Berger later looking at Benjamin's articles and, and talking about this more. Uh, so this is a period in which photography and cinema were invented and were developed, uh, and those two are the quintessential examples of sampling for novice, uh, capturing a frame section of reality and, and pulling it out of the past and time, right, a sampling of reality. Uh, so the second stage is what, what we're going to focus on this week, and this is the uh, first age of recyclers, or first age of recycling. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit in a moment. And the next big shift to the third stage of um, mechanical reproduction slash sampling uh, is going to start in the 1960s and move through the 70s in Jamaican dub. Uh, and then he's going to add to this disco and hip-hop. And this is where we get into the age of remix or you're not really able to differentiate sampling or the development of sampling and uh, remix. Uh, so we'll move over to the column on the right here. The 60s and 70s uh, you get a dub in Jamaica uh, later 70s and 80s uh, in New York City, you get disco and hip hop. And then by the early 90s, remix has become a commoditized form. Uh, it's a way, Nava says it's a way to increase music sales, so it becomes you know, uh, uh, really a corporate model of music production and is then popular, popularized as a, as a form for mainstream uh, use and, and mainstream consumption. Uh, so this is going to reach its apex in the late 90s and on into the present day uh, where you know, remix becomes a generalized concept, uh, a, a kind of way to describe all kinds of cultural practices and not ones that aren't are, uh, obviously remix or and related to earlier forms, right? So this is a pe period where novices says that we get the regressive ideology of remix and it, it starts to be a real problem in this area. Uh, and we're not really going to talk about that this week. Uh, next week... Uh, it's going to be relevant to our conversation, uh, so please, uh, when you're doing the uh, reading of ne for next week, the chapter two reading and the essays on cultural appropriation, uh, please also come back and review this this section on uh, the regressive ideology of remix that, that's right at the end of chapter one here. Uh, so we're pushing all that to next week. Now this week I want to focus on the second stage of mechanical reproduction sampling, uh, what he calls the first age of recyclers. 
Now, there's so many examples uh, from this period and so many different kinds of practices we can talk about. Uh, it, it's really overwhelming. Uh, I thought about doing a review in this lecture, but it basically spanned pretty much all art forms over 50 years. It, it would be so cursory and random, it, it would be pretty much worthless, I think. Uh, so here's what I, I propose to do instead. For this week's post, uh, I'd like you to profile uh, one of the prominent recyclers from uh, the second stage. I have here a list of really influential uh, recyclers. Uh, Vertov, Hawk, uh, Duchamp, Pound, Burroughs, Zara, Connor, uh, Brock, and Moholinagy, or Moholinage. Uh, these are different artists working in different mediums, uh, different time periods across that 50 years. Uh, Duchamp, who is right at the beginning of World War One, up to Bruce Connor, who's working 1958 and past that, right? So really this whole period between the, the 1920s and the 1960s when uh, Dub started in Jamaica, which is a marker for, uh, for novice for that third period. Uh, so what I want you to do is pick one of these people from the list. If you want to pick somebody else, that's all right. Just clear it with me first. But uh, I think these people are interesting enough, uh, pretty prominent figures. Uh, I'm going to see if I can think of some more, but I think this should suffice. Uh, so I'm going to make a post on Google Plus that has all of these names in it. Uh, I want you to claim one by going in the co to making a comment on that post and saying, I want to do uh, Hannah Hawk or I want to do Ezra Pound or whoever you want to do. Uh, once you've claimed one, that person is off the list. So uh, when if you go and the person you want to do is gone, please pick somebody else. Uh, and so once you've picked your person, what I want you to do is uh, do some re uh, research on your uh, figure. Uh, go look them up on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, do a Google image search. Uh, maybe do an academic search on JSTOR or academic search complete if you know how to do that. Uh, Go to YouTube, see if you can find some videos. Maybe just do a general web search, see if something comes back. Some of these people are going to have dedicated websites. I know Duchamp has its own society and so on. Uh, click around. If you go look on Tristan Zara's uh, Wikipedia page, it's going to have links to Dada. Go look at Dada also. To get a general idea of who these people are and, and what some of their work looks like. Uh, <clears throat> and then I want you to write a post uh, introducing the class to this person, to you know, your figure as a precursor of remix. And so rather than doing a kind of, you know, all points, all fact report on your uh, figure, I want you to use your posts to really demonstrate how your figure is a precursor to remix or how they're exploring and playing with concepts and practices that are fundamental to what we understand as remix. And this isn't going to be very difficult. It'll be really obvious right away. The, these figures are people who are working with uh, ready-mades who are in developed collage, photo montage, uh, different kinds of uh, sampling practices, uh, and use them. And they're really famous for doing so. This isn't so. This isn't something that you're going to have to spend a lot of time to uncover. Uh, but do take it seriously. Do look up these people and do spend some time figuring out. Uh, or thinking about why <laughs> why they're appearing here, uh, why some of them are showing up in novices' uh, stages of sampling and mechanical reproduction, and you know, really become a specialist in your one person, so that as we go on, we can reference you and come back and ask you questions about people. Uh, Hannah Hawk, for example, is going to come up again and again in novice, so you know, hopefully we get a strong post on her and and, and all of these figures. And I'll do one of these myself. So uh, when you're in there doing the posts uh, where you're uh, claiming your figure, if there's one of these folks that you really hope that I talk about, write that in the post too. If nothing emerges from the comment section, I'll just sort of see what uh, you all uh, picked, and then I'll, I'll do one or two of the people that you leave over. And so that's basically it for this week. It's, it's a real short uh conversation because I want the, the bulk of this discussion, the bulk of this uh, sort of lecture and content for the week to, to take place through your research and you looking up these precursors to Remix. Uh, you have a uh, prompt uh, if you want to go look at this, if you want to look at the instructions for this week in more detail, that's in your week three folder on Google Drive. 
read the novice chapter, chapter one. If you haven't, it basically just explains uh, those different stages that I walked through. Uh, look for that list of recyclers on Google+. Plus. I'll have that up shortly. Make sure you claim one and get to researching. Again, make sure you claim it before you start reaching, researching because you don't want somebody else to pick the one that you pick. And then you're out of luck. Uh, and again, if there's one that you want me to do, make sure you write that in the comments as well. Uh, finally, remember that your post is going to be due on Friday at 10 p.m. and your discussion is going to be due on Sunday. That, that's going to be the same for the rest of the semester. That's our new format. So I'm excited to see you all get into these figures and really explore them and take a look at them. Again, you know, don't think of it as a report. Think of it more of an explanation or a demonstration of how these are precursors. Who is this person? Uh, what do they do that's a precursor to uh, remix practices? Uh, what kind of examples can you show us? Or can you show us examples? And examples would be great. Like if you find some of the videos and you want to link to a video, uh, if you find some of the images and you can post some of the images, the more multimedia this is, the, the better idea we're going to get of what these early practices look like. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions for this week. Uh, post something in uh, Google Plus on the support tab or send me an email. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, discussion to look at after uh, my vacation at the, my brother's wedding. Uh, but besides that, uh, I look forward to your posts and I'll see you all next week.